Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot. And in today's reading, we're taking a look at what will your next romantic partner be like. And to do this reading, we are going to be picking three piles together. So what, oh, this one moved, ah, as well as this one. So one, two, I really feel like this is the third one. We have one, two, three. Let's find out what they are. For pile number one, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Sorry. The Queen of Pentacles. For pile number two, you have the Hanged Man. And for pile number three, you have the three of pentacles. If you like to pick with crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you have the green grass jasper. And this is what your crystal looks like. For pile number two, you have the Lapis Lazuli, and this is what your crystal looks like. And for pile number three, you have the Red Jasper Crystal, and this is what looks like all right so take a look at which one of these three crystals or three piles you're the most drawn to and that will probably be the pile for you here today if you feel drawn to more than one pile or more than one crystal maybe you even feel drawn to all of them then these as well will be your piles you may just be getting more information about this person that you are going to meet one day who's going to be your romantic partner get more insight on how they're going to be like we're going to be also taking a look at how you may meet this person during the readings so yeah uh, depending on what you're drawn to, whether you're drawn to just one and you know that's your pile, then that is the information that is provided to you today with regards to this person. Or if you feel drawn to more than one pile or maybe even all, it is up to your intuition that it's taking you to the piles that mean um, or rather have a meaning to what's going to be happening with this person and how they're going to be like in your future. And as always, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I'll see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the green grass, <laughs> green grass jasper crystal as well as the queen of pentacles. This specific queen of pentacles is so interesting. This is, of course, the goddess Inanna. Oh, this one jumped out. So let's actually take them. Your tarot deck is now shuffled. Let's pick a card from each of these oracle decks thank you so much before we begin your reading and today as you know we're taking a look at what will your next romantic partner be like okay one more card here i put a an astrological deck 
I think it will help us understand the energy of this person better. Right, so let's find out what you have, my dear pile. Number one, let's keep your tarot cards right there. Right, so you have clematis. Interesting. So the key word on this card is intelligence and mental beauty. How beautiful is that? I love this for you. And uh, the quote here is, wisdom is the abstract of the past, but beauty is the promise of the future. Ooh, love this energy for you. That looks like a, a deep person already. But let's find out more. You have visionary. Whoa. So the light attributes of this card is capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. So lovely. The shadow attributes are selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more uh, acceptable. All right, so let's keep it there. And let's check out your, oh, you have the sun. Wow, very powerful card. Self-express and embody truth. So with embody truth, you can already see the light attribute of the visionary uh, card. Right, that's wonderful to see. Let's now take a look at your tarot cards. So you have the page of cups. Love that. Mm. You have the king of cups. What are the odds? You have the page of cups and you have the king of cups. This is a person with a soft, beautiful heart. Strong, mind you. Very strong, but with soft, with a soft heart, especially with the daisies everywhere that signify innocence. It's associated with innocence and children, which gives me an understanding, an understanding that this person is well balanced, but really in touch with their inner child. So do you see the two elements here of being a smart person, a visionary person, but also someone who's very much in touch of the, with their emotions and their young energy. Love that. Okay, so you have the high priestess. Whoa, I think you're going to love this person, my dear Pamela. You have the ten of cups. I initially thought it was the sun, but what are the odds here? The ten of cups. A ten of cups card. Wow. You have the eight of wands. You know, I have a lot actually to tell you. You have the Knight of Cups. I mean, the page, the Knight and the King of Cups have appeared in this reading. Very romantic person, for sure. Very much in touch with their feelings and their emotions. Isn't this sweet? Oh. <laughs> okay. You have the Devil card. The Hanged Man. Ah, the Two of Wands. Ooh la la. You have the King of Wands. What a lovely um, depiction right there. My God, I don't know where to begin with this reading. I really see the idea that this is a person, before we talk about this world, I really have a strong emotional feeling that strong instinct, I mean, that this is a person who you've met a long, long, long time ago. And the reason I feel that is because you have Inanna, the, Sumerius god, the Sumerian goddess of fertility and, um, and war. And by the way, if you're thinking, isn't Ishtar, the Sumerian goddess of uh, love and war? And you are right. Originally, they were separated, but then at some point, they were regarded as one with two different names. Uh, but if you're wondering who's older, it's definitely Ishtar. Because Ishtar uh, is um, the deity, what is it called, the, like, was, that had the proof of being um, the first goddess that appeared in uh, early writing evidence of it in early writing. So it's Ishtar for sure. But in all cases, here I see something very uh, significant in your reading before we get into the detail. This is a person who you're going to meet in this lifetime 
who has appeared in many lifetimes before. It's like you, there was this beginning together and you continue throughout time to meet and unite and get married, meet and unite and get married. And I'm saying get married for a reason. I'll talk about it in a second. Meet, unite and get married. So this is someone reoccurring in your life, an old soul. And you will find a match with this person like no other. And we'll get more into this energy uh, when it's time for it. But the first thing that I want to show you is that this is a person who is very much in touch of their emotion. I think this is a person who will satisfy you emotionally and you them like no other. Now, it looks to me that this is a person who is only meant to appear in your life and you in their life when you have reached a, a certain level of independence. I think you've come here in this lifetime before meeting and uniting to experience independence because that type of energy allows you to grow and heal some things within your soul that can only be done when experienced on your own. And so in this lifetime, you are meant to meet, which is lovely to see. But with the Queen of Pentacles, both of you had chose to come individually, not meet until you have grown and healed something and you've grown in, in, into your true power, found your independence. Because once you meet, the love is so strong, it's very hard to... Um, break that union uh, because it's filled with with the right elements it's fi it's filled with connection mentally connection with the soul spiritual connection like no other look at that the high priestess in conjunction to the ten of cups and this this combination right there screams soulmate this is exactly who you are meant to be with so and not to mention the physical part, which we will get to in a second with Inanna, of course. Uh, and so there's a lot of love and passion and a perfect match spiritually, um, mentally and soulfully as well. Very interesting combin combination. Once you unite, you bring positivity, the needed positivity into each other's life. I think needed needed for the soul it's not like i don't want to say needed as in like you can't live without it but it's that emotion that fills the soul in fact i was listening to a podcast about um a scientist called john verveke if i'm pronouncing his name correctly who's a cognitive scientist at the university of toronto and I believe, like I was listening to the podcast, it was so interesting. They were talking about ancient wisdom, uh, religion, atheism, uh, the meaning of life and crisis and all these things. And at some point, he was saying, I, I was actually, uh, that uh, podcast, I was listening to it, and I was sitting on the couch. It was so interesting, and I, don't, I fell into sleep, and I was waking back and forth <laughs> as I was listening to the podcast. But I woke up. At a certain point where he was saying that as per his in-depth study into the wisdom of ancient uh, wisdom, I think, yeah, that's what he was saying. He realized or he understood that the essence of happiness, the ultimate thing the soul is looking for is the love that is found between two lovers. And it really made me like wake up, open my eyes and really focus uh, on what he was saying. So it's not like this is the love that you need per se, but it's this love that truly fills the soul. That magic that happens. And both of you have grown a lot in this lifetime. Um, I see here a clear story on its own that shows that 
that shows that both of you, especially this person, because this is the energy of this person, but seeing that strong energy here is making me feel that it could be both of you, but especially with this person. This person has gone a lot, through a lot with the devil card and the hanged man and this specific two of wands. They've lost direction. And so you can see they've gone through a lot of difficulties in life. They've met specifically a lot of corrupt people, it could be. And they felt stuck and they were forced to grow from the situation. You know, they're on their own now. No one's there. They're surrounded with a lot of corruption, a lot of bad, I don't want to say bad souls, but like uh, mm, souls that still need to grow. And it wasn't good at all. There's this devil energy here with the type of people that they've met and they're stuck. It's not like they can leave them. They were stuck and the universe was forcing them. At least that's how they wanted to experience life here to grow, the, the uh, universe forced them to live with that energy, to stay with that energy so that they can grow as a soul and figure out how to deal with these difficult situations. You know, the devil card shows us um, people being chained to the devil. It's of course an illusion. No one is absolutely stuck. But the devil card shows us the energy of someone or people thinking that they are stuck. And that is very clear here in this person's reading. You will see that this person has grown immensely before they met you. They've grown into the person that you will be really impressed by today. And they've grown into themselves. This is something that is new to them in this lifetime. And maybe even to you, you really, you've really grown as souls here. You've learned your message. Uh, and um, once that growth happened, you see the wall here, you'll finally find your connection to each other quickly. Hmm. So yeah, with the King of Wands, they found their power. They have really understood how to deal with that type of energy because they had to sit with it for a prolonged time of their life, trying to figure out how to deal with the difficulties that they had pre in previous lifetimes, how to deal with the, the weaknesses that they've had that took over and had control over them. And although they could have been wonderful souls in the past, maybe there were some things that they have done. And so as you perhaps as well, that hindered this connection. And you can see in this lifetime that you will be enjoying your love in such a new way. Mm. See here, is this is the ultimate spiritual connection, ultimate happiness with the Ten of Cups. Uh, cups. I'm so happy for you, <laughs> pile number one. This is going to be a connection that will make you so happy. Now, I kept talking and talking about uh, the energy that I'm seeing without showing it to you, which is something that I don't usually do. My apologies. I, I thought I was going to... Um, it's what's going to come as I talk about this, but the cards really took my attention. See, here you have the goddess I Inanna. And, you know, this is an ancient picture, by the way, the picture that you see here. Sorry. Let me adjust that. Yeah, there we go. The drawing that you see here is a 22nd century BCE stone steel with, as you can see, Inanna sitting and if she feels she um, has the desire to now call her lover. And so you can see her lover being born from the sacred tree. And she, just like a farmer, She's inviting him, first of all, to join uh, with her the rite of sacred marriage and to plow uh, Inanna as a farmer would a very fertile land. And the reason this is depicted this way is because Inanna is, um, Inanna's body is considered to be a fertile land. She is also the goddess of fertility, right? So she represents also the fertile land that is full of... Um, 
what's the word called? Riches, riches that helps the plant grow. And you know why? Because Sumeria is believed to be, uh, sorry, not Sumeria, Meso Mesopotamia is believed to be um, where the art of agriculture began. And you can see how ancient goddesses had so much power. And so as she uh, invites him in, to make her fertile, um, in return, she shares the authority with this god. This is the god of, oh, I, I can't remember. I'll check. So anyways, she shares now this authority with him and the order of the land. And she shares that leading, um, yeah, for her, for him to lead the people into great prosperity. So I see a lot of elements here in your reading. Like I mentioned, this is old energy, someone from many, many lifetimes ago, someone who is an equal to you, someone who will have a hand in building both of your lives together. Yeah, I see you both making, creating an abundant and prosperous life together. But most importantly as well, there is an element of fertility here. I, th I believe that you will be creating a, a family with this person and you will have children uh, with them. So yeah, we're seeing marriage, we're seeing children, we're seeing a, a tight bond. And... Eight of Wands here, it looks like, with this card, the Eight of Wands is a card of speed. I really feel that although there was a separation between the two of you, this person will be contacting you some rather quickly with the Eight of Wands. This is a story that is about to begin rather quickly. And you can even see it here with the Knight of Cups, offering of love offering of emotions and how they feel towards you. Like I mentioned, the wonderful thing about this person that although you see strength with the sun and the king of wands, confidence, power, uh, you and uh, cerebral uh, element here, you know, mental beauty and intelligence. Like I really see a lot of beautiful conversations between the two of you. This person is also very much in touch uh, with their emotions. You can really see here the purity of their soul. You know, they have an empathic heart. Um, beautiful things touch their beautiful soul rather quickly. <laughs> they value information. They value the little things in life. And you will be obviously the love of their lives. Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you something. This person will be very in touch with their psychic powers. As you can see with the high priestess and the visionary. Uh, look if you feel, which you definitely are here, <laughs> uh, highly in touch with your spirituality. And maybe you are someone who has strong intuition and perhaps even a lot of magic. You'll be equally surprised that this person is very much the same way. And I think it's something that you will greatly bond uh, in together. One last thing that I see, apart from the magic that you will experience with this person, like, uh, you know, the sort of magic of you seeing the signs together, you believing in the magic of the universe, you watching the stars together and you ha putting your intuitions together and seeing what that, um, and yeah, I, I, putting your intuition together to experience magic, to predict, to make amazement happen. I totally feel that type of energy here. It must be a ball for you to meet someone like that. <laughs> with that type of power where you can experience it together. It's like I'm imagining here magical nights, you know, maybe you're going to be doing rituals together or experiencing some magical moments together with regards to the magic found in the universe. But yeah, what I wanted to say is that this is going to be 
a very truthful and honest person. This is not going to be someone who would lie to you or one person that you cannot trust in one area or the other. Uh, maybe that could have been the case previously in one area or the other, but really I see that both of you have grown to an extent where there is ultimate truth that is going to be found in this connection. This is such a special reading. I mean, I've done um, readings about partners before, but this really, like, in my opinion, tops it all. I wish you the best of luck with this person coming in. Eight of Wands shows that this is rather happening quickly at this point of your life. I wish you the best of luck with that, my dear pile number one. May you always be blessed with amazing love. And if you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the lapis lazuli crystal as well as the hanged one or the hanged man. We here see the goddess Tiamat, who is a Sumerian goddess of the primordial sea. She's, she's a primordial uh, goddess. We'll talk about her in a second as soon as we pick one card from each of your decks and see what the overall reading is showing us about your next romantic partner and how they're gonna be like. Okay, one last card here. I thought I should bring in an astrological element, element to your reading. Whoa, we have three <laughs> in this pile. Right, so let's now check what your cards are. Pile number two. You have false indigo and it says, immersion and intuition when you reach the end of what you should know you'll be at the beginning of what you should sense interesting right wow especially that this we have the element of the sea here this is quite deep you also have hmm, judge so the light attribute of this archetype is balancing justice and compassion managing the fair distribution of power. This is so good to see with Tiamat. So shadow attributes are offering only destructive criticism, misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. Right, okay. You have the fourth house, which has to do with culture, family roots, home, peace, and comfort. Love that. Okay, stability in general. You have... Ah, the cardinal signs with instigation, bravery, and a pioneering spirit. Also, another element to that could be that this person might be one of the cardinal signs, which, as you know, is Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. So, yeah, let's see. Mm -hmm. And you have Cancer. What are the odds, right? <laughs> could be uh, the sign of cancer. Although not necessarily. It could also mean, by the way, that this person has a lot of um, the elements related to cancer. And I highly see that whether they are a cancerian or not. That is definitely true. Because look here, you have the Tiamat goddess of the sea uh, who embodies the water element of the cancer, right? And if you read about Tiamat, it's so interesting. It's that highs and lows of cancer, of being very much into your emotions. You know, the, the goddess Tiamat is depicted as sometimes, as you can see here, a serpent, a, a, a monster in the sea that creates chaos. But at the same time, she is the mother of the world. She is... Uh, nurturing, loving, and, and that's how we see the Cancerian element in that. So, so you, you know what I've just thought about? This is going to be someone who is very in touch with their emotions, but 
to a great extent where everything is high, everything is so emotional, where it could be on the positive side, so beautiful when it's good, right? <laughs> but at the same time, could be very chaotic, just like Tiamat, when things aren't going well. And you might be thinking, right, that's not energy that I want in my life. <laughs> and I would totally understand where you're coming from. But this is why when I saw judge, initially when I saw judge, I was thinking of that chaotic element. But now that we're putting things together, I see it even better. I see that, I, now I understand that this is a person who is willing to grow out of their mistakes. That's why you have the hanged man, right? Is a just, fair person who learns quickly from their mistakes. Especially because you will see that this person um, is very interested in creating a home with you, creating stability. Uh, there are eggs here. You might even have children with this person who wants to have stability with you for the whole family. And although can get so high because of their emotions, I mean, things can sometimes get chaotic because of their energy. You will see that this person uh, will be a fair person. And with the uh, hanged man, will really revise themselves and think about the things that they've done and will later have a constructive communicative um, session with you where they'll definitely grow out of it. So And so you can see that the C may be high in the beginning and then it starts uh, normalizing the more this person with the hanged man learns uh, from their mistakes or how to express their rights in a much calmer way. So this is something that you are going to experience with this person and you will quickly learn about how chaotic <laughs> things can be. And so you too will understand the dangers of how this person can just ignite all of a sudden and go crazy sometimes. But this is not a teenager type of energy. This is genuinely a person who's just so in touch with their emotions. And from their side, they will genuinely be learning and being fair and compassionate towards hearing your side. And together, you will learn not to come near this area and how to communicate better with one another with a lot of bra bravery, especially in the beginning. And you will see that things will come into balance as you um, communicate and you will be building a very loving, beautiful home together. <laughs> so interesting. Let's find out more about uh, this person, my dear pile number two. It looks like a very loving person. You know, these people that are, that may come off as bold, but you really find out soon that they have a beautiful heart, that type of energy. <laughs> okay, let's see. So you have the three of pentacles, someone who is definitely, sorry, willing to cooperate and collaborate with you, work together. If you have children, I see two for a lot of you, if you want, uh, willing to collaborate beautifully with uh, your children, a wonderful parent, someone who's involved with their loved ones, whether they're friends, family, spouse, children, someone who's very involved in connection and relationships is there, you know, someone who's there. I, I feel with that family, that energy is that this is someone who's very involved with the family. And although they have their interests and everything, but they're there with the family. It's someone that you find in all the important moments and all the silly moments. They're there. They love family life with cancer and the fourth house. And of course, here with the three of pentacles, you have the ten of swords. Can you see that? There we go. That's much better. Ten of swords. <laughs> Do you see that pile number? How didn't I notice this? Do you see how the the sea is engulfing this person? <laughs> Definitely so in touch with their emotions. Sometimes they are so loving that they may like over flood you <laughs> with love. Very loving person. But you do see that this person is um, like 
giving in to it. So I think, yes, there is an overflowing of love. Uh, sometimes you might feel like, oh, this is too much love. But really, it's not something that you'll be complaining about. You have the devil card. Mm. Oopsie, oopsie doo. You have the knight of swords. Oh, God. Sorry, it's just that the new YouTube rules are very strict with um, nudity. Right, so you have the knight of swords. This is also wonderful energy, okay? You have... The, the moon card, mm -hmm. yeah, the moon and cancer. This is, I, I bet you, this person is gonna be cancer or has a, a strong cancer in their chart. Mm. You have the strength card. The six of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, love this person, the magician. There are so many wonderful things about this person. Once you, of course, maneuver over this energy, this is a beautiful person. You have the judgment card. Okay, so what are we seeing here? I want to start with the devil first because everything else is mind-blowing. I want to find out what is this devil? Oh! Look at this devil dangling things. Dangling things. Uh, you know, one of the meanings of the devil card is actually sexual attraction. So I believe this person is going to be, yeah, a ro very romantic, very um, in touch with their sexual energy. And the with the devil card, they will be very good at knowing how to lure you in. I think here with the devil smiling, uh, I have a feeling that you will enjoy uh, that aspect of this person. Now, the parts that really, the part that really got me about this person, and I also see it right there, right there as well. This is a person who will fight for you like there is no tomorrow with the Knight of Swords. They're never going to be leaving you to be on your own, to feel vulnerable, to feel like, you know, they could have played a role in being by your side and they haven't. This is a person who's all in with the people that they love. Uh, whether you're feeling strong or, or feeling tired, this person is, will stand there with every bit of their heart. And you see with the knight here, they're truly uh, a knight. So they have these characteristics of being uh, gracious. Yeah, I know, I know. Can get a bit crazy with their emotions, but really, at the end of the day, they revise themselves and they, um, you'll find that they're really courageous with a strong personality and yet they're using it for the good. Fair, caring. Uh, towards others and their loved ones. They're there till the end. You'll find them to be responsible. You'll find them to be trustworthy. Uh, you'll find them to have respect for others and for themselves as well. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful person, uh, pile number two. No question about it. And do you see that with the strength card and the six of pentacles? You can see that they are a strong person and uses their power for the good. You uses their strength for the good. I mean, they will be standing by the weak, the poor, the people who can't defend themselves. They're not afraid. They're very strong. Uh, I mean, if they see their children in a bad situation, they're not afraid to get up and say, hey, what's going on here? or to defend something that's going wrong that other people are afraid to, to speak about. Um, yeah, very proactive person that has a genuinely good heart and wants to help others with the power and the blessings that they have in their lives. This is why when the cards first came down, I told you this is a very beautiful person at heart. Unbelievable. You, I think you're going to love this connection. And yeah, 
I keep going back to that part. Believe me, pile number two really does look like there is a good balance here of this person learning because the connection means so much to this person. They quickly learn from their mistakes and you won't feel that they are um, abusing their power or going crazy. It's going to calm down by time for sure. But all in all, you'll find that this person is very nurturing, uh, brings a lot of comfort to you, you know, is empathetic, would love to listen, will engulf you with, <laughs> with love and protection. Such a sweet person. Very protective over their homes and their loved ones. Although at the very beginning, you may think that this person is with the moon mysterious, uh, strong, not easy to connect with in the beginning. But as you speak to them with the moon, you'll find that there's a lot of depth, just like the sea, a lot of depth to this person. And with the, with the strength, this is a bold person with a very beautiful soft heart. Now, another element that I see with this person, magician and the judgment card, a very, uh, a very skilled person who is very knowledgeable in their field. So maybe like with the scales here, could be a lawyer, could be, I don't know, someone who has a lot of knowledge in their field. They come across as someone who, uh, um, who's in a big position. To me, it feels like they have their own office. It's not like they are employed. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm seeing here. It's like, you know, the energy of a consultant, a prestigious office that provide some sort of service that more or less have to do with knowledge, like an accounting office, an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer. What other offices? Uh, could, be a, could, could be a professor, but I'm not genuinely feeling it. But someone who could be... A, no, I don't feel businessman, to be honest with you. But in all cases, this is a person who's very knowledgeable in their fields and they have their own thing going on. And with the judgment, they're in a very, very high position. Like they have a big name in the market. People know them, very prestigious uh, job and title and presence for sure. Like they shine so bright in what they do quite known in their field and they're very proud of the knowledge that they have they're very proud of um, how they're able to do things properly yeah they're, they're just very uh, i get a sense of pride very proud of what they've built what they can do and the knowledge that they have to a great extent some of uh, some could be like lawyers or a legal accountant or someone who maybe works in the government, although, yeah, maybe. Something of the sort. Now, with the cardinal sign, this is a person who's going to ignite this connection with you. I don't, I see that this is a person who's approaching you. Although it will seem intimidating, they, you, they will be approaching you and they will show you the deeper side to them. I'm quite curious, how are you going to meet this person? We didn't ask that question. Let's bring out your tarot cards. So since they're the one who are instigating this connection, let's find out how you're going to be meeting this person. I also feel this one. How are you meeting this person? One, two, three, four, five. So you have the page of pentacles. Okay, this looks like this person is gonna wait a little bit before they instigate. Hmm. You have the 10 of pentacles.
the ten, another ten of wands. Okay. <laughs> okay. The ace. Oh, not again. All right. So you have the ace of cups. And you have the five of wands. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Well, before we get into how you're going to meet, there is something very significant. We did talk about this person being very emotional. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, <laughs> leading to the Ace of Cups. And this is a person who will quickly feel day by day that you are the biggest blessing. They'll feel so good about you, the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles shows that you, they will feel like you have everything that they want and more. So we get that high energy. Oh my God, this is the person I want. And so that quickly becomes a burden on their hearts with the Ten of Wands because they're waiting here, waiting, maybe waiting for the right move. I don't know what they're waiting for yet, but you can see things escalating rather quickly, you know, feeling like, oh my God, this is exactly what I want. So turmoil of emotions that got ignited when meeting you, you know, like a, a sea of love going on as they met you. It's like the, the sort of sea that happens when you meet a person uh, that you really you marvel at and imagine that energy with this person goes to the ten of wands it's like crazy they're already into the sea deep into love their element <laughs> and with the ace of cups they're already um imagining and fantasizing about you and uh and yeah falling deep in love with you right away okay now back to how they're igniting this or how you're gonna meet There is a challenge here, although they're very strong, but obviously because of how they hold you in high regard, there is deep love, but at the same time approaching you with a lot of care. Do you see how this person <laughs> is looking? It's like uh, trying to tread carefully near you. So it's, the Five of Wands is usually a card of competition, but here it's not a competition. It's also like internal struggle. So here... I feel like this person will initially feel very intimidated by you, especially because they think super highly of you and they are not really in control of how they feel. There's a lot of turmoil going on here. And so they're treading with, with care, especially in the beginning with you, because they do feel threatened with maybe losing you or losing that amazement. And perhaps this is why with the Page of Pentacles here, they're waiting. I mean, they know they want something with the Page of Pentacles. They know they want to send you a message, talk to you, because pages are messengers. They want to signal a message to you. They want to show you they like you. They want to communicate it. But they are going through so much on the inside that it will be a, a kind of a struggle in the beginning. How are you meeting them? To be honest, I, I can't see it. You know, page could mean you're meeting them with a new chapter of your life as you're starting something new or doing something new. With the clock here, I see the idea as well with time is approaching and you will be meeting this person. You might be meeting them out and about. You can literally be meeting them as you're buying vegetables, but that's too specific, I know. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe you're meeting them as you're buying something. Maybe you need their services. That could be another thing. Exactly where? I don't know, my dear pile number two. I can try. Like, I can pick up two more cards and try to get like where or the how. Oh, thanks. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Six of Wands. 
This Four of Pentacles gives me another energy of waiting, waiting, waiting. Will you be waiting to get your turn to speak to an expert who will help you out in one area or the other? That could be, that could be one thing. Mm -hmm. You will be meeting them in their best as they're winning with the Six of Wands. So it really could be that you find yourself contacting this person for, yeah, in their element. Maybe you're contacting this person because uh, you need their service one way or the other, like some sort of visit or something. Um, maybe you need to speak to a lawyer. Maybe you need to speak. Maybe your company could be your job, your company, uh, asking you to contact this person to do a service for your company, the company you work at, or maybe even your own company. You know, there is here work contact for sure, because it's them being in their element for sure. But with the Queen of Cups, you will see that although they're very proud of what they're doing, they will be treating you gracefully. So you will see that these two elements with this person from the very beginning, bold, but very graceful as they are uh, by their nature. Very bold, but very graceful and knight-like. Yeah. Yeah. And with the Six of Wands, they will help you succeed in reaching the mission that you called them for. Okay. So my dear pile number two, such an interesting <laughs> reading. I love it. I wish you the best of luck. It seems like this is happening soon for you. And I truly hope for you to enjoy your romantic life for the rest of your life. And if you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number two, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three, welcome to your reading. You were drawn to the red jasper as well as the three of pentacles card, three of pentacles card, which has depicts the three norns. The norns are the three Norse goddesses of destiny. We'll talk about them in a second, depending on how they fit into your reading. Your tarot deck is now shuffled. Let's pick up one oracle card from each of these tarot decks so that we take a look at, whoa, thanks. What will your next romantic partner be like? Okay. I feel this one. And I also feel this one. Should I take the three? Oh, four, really? Okay, I'll just follow. Okay. So, my dear pile number three, you have, ah, Don Juan, interesting. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? So, the light attribute is spotlights your positive, seductive qualities. I think you're going to meet a rather attractive person that will know how to swipe you off your feet. So, the shadow attribute here is using the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. Okay, so you have Don Juan, you have the lilac. It says, first emotions of love. Look at that. This is like love from first sight. This is someone who knows how to swipe you off your feet. Ooh, <laughs> you have love is the magician that pulls man out of his own hat. I know, right? What are the odds that you get strong love messages like that? Wow. Okay. And look with the Norns here, the goddesses of destiny, it looks like you are destined to meet this person. This is the person you're destined to be with. Exactly. Let's find out more. Looks like uh, we have a lot to unpack in this reading. <laughs> Four energy cards, astrological cards. So, okay. So this is really good. You have the fourth house which shows a lot of stability. You'd first think, ah, with Don Juan, are we looking at someone who will actually, just like the shadow attribute shows, 
uh, will be using that attraction to for their private agendas but then the first confirmation that we get is the fourth house we see stability we see home we see family roots culture so this is a cultured person we see peace we see comfort the, these are all elements of the fourth house so that's really co cool because you get that energy in its positive form so nice you also have a uh, the sixth house establishing a foundation health daily life and practical details so yeah you can see that this is a person who you will establish a home with someone who with the practical details i see like someone who you will be involved with greatly into and equally i believe in building a nice home together a healthy home establishing a a, a powerful foundation together and with the daily life this is someone who you will love and enjoy your daily life with you know there's a lot of involvement with the two of you in your daily lives in your home yeah this is it's not like with daily life i get the idea that this is someone's as someone whose energy is occurring daily in your life someone's there mm. You also have ah, the yin energy, intuition, trust, patience, spirituality, receptivity. Isn't this such lovely energy to receive? Mm. And that's why you're destined to be with this person. It's, it's not an energy that's just coming and going. This next partner is someone you're destined to stay with, who you will love staying with. And you see, this is a person who's very in touch with yin energy, which is the feminine energy and that's really important when we're talking about love mm. very in touch of their emotion with their emotions someone who you can trust strong intuition someone who is patient and so we see a charming person who who knows how to exude their charm from the essence of their maturity and not from a place of uh, fake presentation and instability okay you have opposition imbalance a point of tension and a power struggle this is very clear here we see two powerful beings coming together and so although there is a lot of love a lot of charm they are not just the charming one here you equally uh, are presented in this reading as someone who's equally charming equally powerful and there's a lot of respect going on here because we see two powerful beings coming together. Okay, so let's explore this energy further. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, it's an energy of collaboration, by the way, because you were drawn. The card you were drawn to is the Three of Pentacles. Certainly a card of collaboration where you two will be collaborating. Do you see how they're sewing things together, which is, of course, the Norns. They sit under the Yggdrasil, the tree of life, and they uh, help the world. They sew things together, putting the world together. They shape, if you will. Uh, they will shape what happens. Um, they will shape destiny, shape what happens. So it seems to me that two powerful beings coming together, working together to make a beautiful home and a beautiful life very involved in getting your dreams and your life and your romantic relationship in structure, building a strong foundation for all of these energies together. Love that for you. <laughs> okay, my dear pile number three, let's see what else. You have the Queen of Swords right off the bat. Wow. Very highly intellectual person. You have the Page of Cups, uh, uh, Pentacles, sorry. Mm -hmm. practical intelligent practical practical with room for uh, because we have the pages energy room for curiosity practical smart with a lot of room for exploration you have the eight of cups ten of pentacles wow 
you two are going to be building a beautiful home together. You know, when they say there is a perf picture perfect family, I think this is what we're seeing here, building not just picture perfect, but truly a family who other people are going to visit and go, wow, what an amazing family. Uh, I see a strong bond between the family. I see uh, a family being built on good financial stability as well. A lot of love because 10 is an excess of an energy and the 10 of pentacles is having abundance in everything. And we see it. And when we see it in love and familyhood, it really shows you that this is a family who's happy all around in the different areas of their life in their connection in their financial stability in their communication in their everything they um well established fa well founded family strong bond mm. i love that for you you have the seven of pentacles the six of pentacles. Interesting. Wow. That's really nice. Okay. <clears throat> the hanged man. The ten of cups. Seriously? Pile number three? The ten of pentacles and the ten of cups? <laughs> I mean, this is like ultimate happiness. Uh, ten of cups is being elated, being so in love, being happy. Ten of Pentacles, again, having everything and more. Ultimate happiness. What bingo is that? Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Wow. You have the Four of Swords. Interesting. The Four of Swords coming with the Hangman is super interesting. The ice is melting, my dear pile number uh, three. So this tells me that this connection is about to happen. Someone's coming out of hibernation here. Maybe even both of you are coming out of hibernation. Mm. Hibernation shows that maybe both of you weren't involved in connections for a long time. The two of you. Maybe someone, ch one of you chose not to be in a relationship. And maybe the other person came out of some struggles and they had to rest. Uh, or just maybe both of you didn't find the right people. It doesn't have to be that way. Maybe both of you didn't find the right person. And although both of you are super charming, super attractive, uh, I think here you were more focused on growing yourself. Mm. Oh, yeah. Maybe both of you were focused on growing your lives. Maybe you weren't focused on relationships. Um, it could be, it could have many meanings. And finally, do we have space here? We have space, but maybe you may not see it. So let me push the cards a little bit and take one more card because I'm feeling one more card. And I think it's this one because it's popping out. So what do we have? Oh, whoa. <laughs> the sun card. And look at the sun. The sun melting the ice. This gives me a strong feeling that this is a person, although we see some rest mode here yeah for sure that will have their hearts melting when they see you and they will charm you off their feet because you've done something to their souls here you've awakened their emotions their connection with love and that part of them something got awoken when they will see you will get awakened when they see you. Because other than that, from the beginning, although as a person who's in touch with their emotion, yeah, the yin energy, is also very intellectual, very smart, very practical. As you can see, yes, there's a lot of room for uh, open-mindedness with the Queen of Swords as well and exploring other things. But usually very practical, very focused person with the Queen of Swords, uh, yeah, also very professional as well. That comes off very focused on growing their life. You will see that they will come to their knees for you. They will find you to be very special. That they will let out this yin energy for you. And uh, <laughs> it looks like they will be proposing rather quickly. My dear pile number three. They will be proposing to you rather quickly. They will be treating you 
as a, their king or their queen. And uh, you too, with the sun card, because there are two Paul's energies here, you too will have your heart melting and swayed by how this person is so charming and how they're able to uh, move your emotions as well. And so with that, you don't know really who was actually the first one to sway the other's emotion. Because although it looks like this is the person leading and swaying you off your feet, it shows that you initially were the one to really melt these emotions and let them come out in the first place. And you can see here with the Eight of Cups above the Hanged Man and the Four of Swords, this is someone leaving their... Uh, there's a word for it, when you're not in a singlehood. This is someone walking away from their singlehood, going bye-bye. <laughs> and they're all about building that foundation, that home and that love with you. And you will see, pile number three, both of you are going to be so happy in this connection. And you will see that this person will be treating you as an equal power with a lot of respect, if not even like... Uh, holding you in very high regards. Uh, yeah, they will be powerful, but they're willing to sometimes bring their power down to treat you with, with love and respect. So overall, there is definitely in this reading a, a balance in power and two people genuinely respecting each other, holding each other in high regards. And with the norms really appearing in this reading, I have this feeling that this is in the making, you know, because the norms, they sit as mentioned below the Yggdrasil and they create fate. They shape what's going to happen. In fact, you have the three here, the three norms. You have Urd, which uh, is in control of what has been. And then you have Verdani, uh, no, it's not Verdani, Verdandi, sorry, Verdandi, who shapes the present, what is becoming. And then you have Skuld, which shapes what shall be. So together they're shaping destiny. And it gives me a strong impression that this is actually about timing in this reading. This is something being shaped. It's in the making. It's happening as we are doing this reading. So maybe you already know who that person is. Or it's something that's really about to happen here for you. A story that's totally going to shape your life, your present life, your children's life, and um, yeah, uh, the families to come and the generations to come. A solid beginning of generations to come. Happy homes. Happy homes. And there is lovely charm to this person. You know, you won't find this person to be uh, ever out of character. They're so in, they have so much internal strength. They're able to keep themselves really poised. And, you know... That's why they're able to handle actually someone as strong as you. And you will see with this person that they will have a lot of patience with things, you know. They will deal with things very calmly. They will be a great communicator with the Queen of Swords. Very playful with the Page of Pentacles. But with that playfulness, there is still maturity. You you find some. This is a character who shows me a lot of playfulness, but playfulness with maturity, mm. and will be very patient. I mean, if you or the or your children or anyone around them gets out of character, they will be very understanding, very patient, and they will they handle things rather beautifully here. Mm. Very beautiful energy. Nurturing, kind, but very strong. I, you know, I really feel that this person has great balance between their feminine and masculine energy. 
And with all that power that they have, they're able to show gentleness and to allow you to, to you know, come down a little bit, not in a way where they're losing their power or anything, but in a way that is very graceful and knight-like. To allow you to to be also to also to be graceful, beautiful energy. They will have a lot of respect for you, and this is a person who will genuinely give you their every bit of their heart. You can see here with the lilac, my dear pile number three. Love is the magician that pulls man out of his own hat. Such a beautiful quote that shows you the energy that is coming with this person. Now, what's left here is we wanna explore how you're gonna meet this person, especially that this is in the making, this is happening. So let's pull out some cards and find out Oh, thanks. How are you? This is like happening with the Ace of Cups. Uh, this is a person will be who will be quick to offer love. Uh, will be flirtatious right off the bat. In a, in a genuine good way. Not in a playful way. I mean, you know, with the private agendas type of energy. You have the Five of Cups. Ooh, the Three of Cups. The threes in this pile, the three norns, the three of cups, the three of pentacles. Three, three, three could be a magical number for you. And you have the knight of cups. Okay. Look, the first thing I'm seeing, one, a lot of people and someone standing out from the crowd. So the first thing we're seeing is that despite... This person may be having a lot of options or seeing so many people. It's part of their environment. Maybe there's a lot of people in their environment. You stand out like no other. And I think that's energy that's always going to be uh, per prevalent, prevalent in your life. So how is this going to happen? There's a lot of respect also in how they're presenting their love to you. How they're offering it. So much respect with how this person's holding the cup. With the face not showing here, I think, and also be, being covered here as a knight of cups, I see that this is not someone you know about. Most of you don't know this person, for sure. Most of you don't know this person. Or maybe they just started to appear in your life very new. Knight of Cups. Since this is the energy of the offering here, shows me that this is a person who is explorative. Hmm. I see a lot of cattails here. So this is a person who's explorative by nature. And then this could be you. And it looks to me like they had to go through a lot of people to find you and they're holding on to their offer you know they don't they don't just give it to anyone they're like we explore genuinely just waiting exploring waiting only offering when they find the right person five of cups is a card of disappointment so Maybe you are going through a time of disappointment. Maybe you're disappointed from a past relationship or you're disappointed in relationships in general or you're going through something disappointing in life. I have a strong feeling 
that th these cards are showing us that this person is discovering you or yeah because yeah you're very you seem to me just like the hanged man you're in a pause you're, you're in something else with the hanged man you're focusing on something else and this person is explorative and i don't mean explorative as in looking for someone maybe they're the more active ones one exploring life traveling having fun but their cup they only present it because these cups are filled here they only present it to the person they're looking for seeing these holding the cups and here this one being free i gives me the impression that this person uh, only presents their cup to the person they're looking for and so to me this looks like uh, this is an outgoing person knight of cups could be especially with the three of cups social person so this could be a social person who's out about con you know in touch with people and so it looks like them being the ones to offer there is the idea that they've discovered you in this pile hmm. so they'll be discovering you through others through people because there's some sort of isolation going on in your pile especially with the hanged man now this person's heart as mentioned will melt when they when they finally meet you that is exactly what I see going on <laughs> with your next romantic partner. My dear pal number three, I truly hope you've enjoyed this reading. I totally did. I really enjoyed your reading, my dear pal number three. I wish you the best of luck with what's happening here. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pal number three, I'll catch you in the next reading.